Hey, what's going on, Downtown Chiropractic Health and Sports Injury Clinic? My name is Jeff, and I want to provide this video for you guys today in hopes that it kind of you guys can use it as an actual tool to implement into your business and actually uh, get more people into your door. So I'm going to be walking you through over the next couple minutes um, some systems that I've built out for you guys that you guys can literally use yourselves to drive traffic into your business. And now. Obviously, I started on your Facebook page because that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to be talking about how you guys can leverage different tools and assets on Facebook to drive people into your business. And so the whole idea with the system I'm going to show you is that it will act like your sales and marketing team all in one. So imagine if you guys could build out a system that uh, would bring in clients to you all the time that would act as your sales force, as your marketing force, and then it's super repeatable, right? So this, this, this system never takes days off. It never has bad days. It never takes sick days. So I'm going to show you guys how to utilize a system that I have found effective for other chiropractors to grow your business, right? So I'm going to be talking about how to utilize this portion of your Facebook. I'm going to be talking about the info and ad section. And I know there's a lot of people that have used this in the past and have been burned by, by um, you know, advertising in the past by some bigger social media company. Um, but the fact is, is that this system does work. You just need to have the right structure to do so and make sure that you are getting the highest ROI for your use of ad spend. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do just that. So what I'm going to be doing at first is kind of showing you what a good ad or an effective ad would look like here on Facebook. So an effective ad on Facebook really needs to follow a certain structure. So I've kind of like actually built out a structure that you guys could follow. And really every single piece of this structure is pivotal. You know, you might look at some of this and say, oh, I don't want to do this. Well, what I would suggest, what I would say is I don't want you wasting your money because, you know, here's a structure that we've proven to work. And, you know, it's one of these things where it really does kind of need to be followed pretty, pretty precisely, right? So what you want to do right away in this, in this structure is you want to call out an audience. You guys being downtown Milwaukee, um, you guys want to call out the Milwaukee audience, right? And the reason why you want to do that is because when someone's scrolling through their feed on Facebook, you want to make sure that you stop them and get their attention. You know, if I'm scrolling through my feed and I'm in Milwaukee and I see, hey, Milwaukee, I'm going to stop and read that because that applies to me. So you want to start by calling out your audience. Then you want to kind of dive into... Um, you know, the emotions, you know, most people come to you guys probably because they have some sort of pain, some sort of injury. Um, so you want to make sure you resonate with them, right? So if you struggle with, with stress or pain for quite some time, the team at Downtown Chiropractic Health and Sports Injury Clinic is here to help. Obviously, you guys are here to help people with pain. That's why you're in business, right? So we're going to provide a solution to them, you know, so your health and well-being is important to us. So we want to introduce you to a drug-free way of health, right? So this, this is kind of like the opportunity that you're providing the consumer, right? So you're going to offer them some sort of new um, health approach that's not big pharma or medicine based. It's going to be based on natural treatments, right? So our mission is to, so basically after you talk about the uh, the emotions and you call out your audience here, um, you want to talk about kind of why you're running this special. You know what makes your business want to run this special for the consumer. The consumer is interested in why you are doing what you do. Um, so obviously, you know our mission is to help improve the quality of life for the Greater Milwaukee community. To do so, we're running a wellness special, right? So you're trying to improve the community's health and well-being. But obviously, at the end of the day, you're also trying to drive people into your business, which is why you're running this special, right? And so as a consumer, you know, I see all this, but then I think to myself, you know, what's in it for me? You know, what's it, why, do I, why do I want to trade my information to these people to actually go to their business when there's thousands of other businesses around here that I could actually work with, too? So what makes you guys different, right? So in order to stand out, you have to be willing to offer something of value to the consumer. So this, this, this piece of value right here is in the form of a voucher. So the consumer will, will redeem something for a voucher that, to get them to come into your business. Now, what I've seen too many businesses do is they're running this you know, $140 exam and then like a $65 treatment and they're running that on Facebook. And then they look at me and say, hey, Jeff, you know, why is this not working? And it's because you're creating too big of an entry for a consumer. The consumer has no idea who you are, so they're not comfortable paying hundreds of dollars for your services, right? And I understand that, you know, you probably do charge that much, but at the end of the day, you need to drive traffic into your business and get the highest ROI on your ad spend. So in order to get new business, you have to be willing to, be willing to trade money or you have to be willing to trade your time to grow your business, right? So what you want to do is you want to give the consumer something of crazy value that they cannot pass up in order to give you their information, right? So what I've seen work very well for businesses like yours in the past, um, some sort of wellness exam or a first adjustment. Obviously, you being a sports injury clinic, you guys might be a little bit different because essentially you're including something else in that metric. Um, and these are just kind of like dollar amounts that I just made up. But again, you don't want to start charging hundreds of dollars for an exam or hundreds of dollars for this and that because consumers will just not pay for that and they won't trade their information for that. And so what's going to happen is you're going to blow all this money running ads 
And then you're going to look at someone and say, hey, Facebook ads don't work. And realistically, it's not because the Facebook ad didn't work. It's because you created too big of a barrier of entry between you and your consumer for your consumer to even resonate with it, right? So you want to have something, again, that's really high value to the consumer that they can trust, they can resonate with to get them in the door. The whole idea is to get people in the door. Once people are in your door, then you can actually convert them and provide them long-term value and convert them to lifelong clients. So again, talk about the offer, very pivotal part. That's kind of why I went in a little bit on this part here. It's very pivotal. Um, so again, we're running this special for a limited time only. The first 30 people who claim this offer will receive a voucher, so get them while they last. Again, you probably only have so much space. Maybe you were giving away 40 vouchers or 50 or 60, but again, you want to make sure that it's relevant to your business and that the consumer knows that this is not an unlimited amount of opportunity for everyone. Um, so I hope that makes sense. This is kind of like the text portion of the ad, if you will. Um, again, so then we run like a picture. Um, obviously, you guys could include someone from your business or something a little bit more tailored. I just put you guys' logo in here just for the sake of example. Um, and so we just basically reiterate what this special is for the consumer. Um, $180 value for like $29 wellness exam plus a first adjustment or potentially a first physical therapy session or potentially a first treatment, whatever that is for your business. But remember, the consumer wants to pay for something that's going to solve their problems, right? They don't want to pay for these exams. So you've got to make sure we package an exam and a first treatment. Um, so what happens after this? So as a consumer, I'll be the example, right? If I see this on my feed and I'm interested in this, I could actually click through. So I'm like, damn, this sounds like a really good opportunity for me. I'm going to click through on this. So this is my example click through button for the sake of example. So if I click through, what I see too many businesses doing is when I click through as a consumer, I'll land in a, in a space like this. You know, I'll land, a, I'll land on your website, which I know you're thinking, that's great. You know, I want to drive traffic to my business. And I would, I would say, you know, having a website is really good. But for Facebook ads and your marketing and social media, you don't want to drive people to this space. And I'll tell you why. Because when I, as a consumer, when I land on this space, now you're putting the ball in my court instead of taking me down the path you want me to go. So you're forcing me to find all the right things. You're forcing me to, you know, maybe go to available treatments and therapies and stuff like that or fill out, start filling out some paperwork and stuff, you know. But right now I have to make all those decisions and you, and you got to hope that I make the right decisions to get into your business, right? So basically what can happen too is on a website you have a lot going on there's like you know there's five to ten different lanes of traffic you know pretty soon i'm reading about the doctors and the treatments and the paperwork and the location and then all of a sudden i get a call from a friend and then pretty soon i'm off your website and now you've lost me you've paid money to get in front of me and now you've lost me because you've taken me to a space that forced me to make all the right decisions and there was too much going on so it didn't get right to the point so instead of taking someone to a website like this from facebook what you want to do is take them to a different space called a landing page and the idea with a landing page is it's one lane of traffic, right? All it does is kind of reiterate what we saw on Facebook because that's what the consumer resonated with and that's what they were willing to click on. So we want to make sure that we talk, touch on the same things that we saw on Facebook. So if you look here, there's really no meet the team. There's no contact us. Um, it's really just a reiteration of the offer. And then at the bottom here, we can actually even put some testimonials in for your business to kind of warm them up even further. You know, if someone's on the fence and giving you their information, they see these testimonials and they're like, wow, these guys at Downtown Chiropractic and Sports Injury Clinic, these guys really know what they're doing. I'm comfortable giving my information to them. So on this page, all we really do is we re reiterate an offer. Same thing we saw on Facebook, $29 voucher. Again, these numbers are only example. And a complete wellness exam and a first adjustment and or first treatment or first therapy in your case, whatever makes sense for your business. And then what will happen, I, I, I as a consumer, I'm resonating with this. This still sounds good to me. I'm still interested. I'm going to go ahead and click here. And so what happens when you click here, this is the exact space that we pay money on Facebook for. We pay money to collect information from individuals who are leads for our business, right? So we're doing two things right here, right? You know, we're capturing first name, last name, phone number, and email. And with those, that information, two things. We're doing, we're getting hot leads. Every single person that signs up for this here is a hot lead for your business. They've seen your Facebook ad. They've landed on your landing page. Now they've clicked through and they're willing to trade you their information. That is a hot lead for your business. Those people need to be followed up with via phone call. You need to get to know them, you know, figure out why they're signed up for the voucher, you know, what kind of pain they have, you know, schedule a time for them to come in your business and get them in your door so then you can provide them value because without getting people in the door, it doesn't give you an opportunity to provide your value, right? So you're capturing hot leads and then in the back end, we're also building a mailing list. So we're collecting all this information, first name, last name, phone number, and email from every single person. So that at a later time, we, if we so choose, we can remarket to these people. We can actually get out in front of them again because we have all their contact information. So say six months from now, you're running some sort of different special. We can get out in front of them again because we have all those email addresses. Um, so really, it's kind of a two-for-one kind of deal. 
So this is exactly what Facebook ads are meant for. We're meant to be paid to get out in front of people so that we can capture information. We're not paying to, to drive people to a website. We're not paying to teach people about some sort of article or, or teach them something about the practice or, or have them meet the doctor. We don't want to pay for that. We want to pay to get people in the door so that we can grow our business, right? So this is uh, this is some things that I wanted to highlight. You know, I, after working with a bunch of chiropractors, it's become evident that you know people have run ads and they've been burned by them because one, they have they haven't had the right structure, or maybe two, they've had way too high of a value or way too high of an entry point for the consumer, or even three, if they had a low entry point and they were doing all the right things on the Facebook ad, then they take a consumer to here and they wonder why people don't convert on the website. So it's important to have a space that the consumer can resonate with. And, you know, that's how you get the highest ROI for your Facebook ad spend. So I hope this makes sense. You know, just to kind of reiterate, we talked about Facebook ads and kind of what they, how to structure them in order to get the highest ROI. And then we talked about why it's more beneficial to take people to a landing page instead of a website because it is a one lane traffic and it's easy to collect information. So I hope this all makes sense to you guys. Um, again, my name is Jeff and I hope you've, if you've taken the time to watch the video this far, I really appreciate it because I know it can provide you value if you were to implement it. Um, and so if you guys have any questions on this, please let me know. I'm actually downtown Milwaukee myself, so I'm local. Um, I work with other business owners such as chiropractors and other gym owners in the, in the area. And so if you guys have any questions on this, please let me know. And I would love to see you guys grow your business by using these tools. So I hope you guys have an awesome day and take care.